So I have three apartments in this complex with the prices for $1,575, $1,900 and $2,800 a month. So let's see what's the difference in the apartments. So we're on $29.17. So as I said, in this complex I have three units. Uh, which the price range is between $1575 to $2800. So let's see what's the difference between apartments. So we're right now in the apartment number one, which is $1575 a month, and that's the studio unit. So let's see what it features. So the studio itself is 14 by 20 square feet, which features uh, hardwood floors throughout the apartment, which is in very good condition. And it definitely have a good spacing for a studio apartment. For queen. There's a closet that's conveniently located right off the entrance. So you come in, you can put your coats in there. And if I would organize the space, so I would probably put a TV over here, since it has the cable outlet for it or a desk, and put the couch this way so it would face the TV. And I would place the dining table over here and I would put the bed will have to come in the corner in front of the window. And obviously I'll put some curtains on the window. So this way everything you have would actually fit. So let's check out what the kitchen has to offer. So the dining table will have to come this way because it's convenient. It's located right next to the kitchen. Uh, the kitchen itself, it's not an eating kitchen and um, it's not very big but it has a lot of um, cabinet space on the top and the same goes for the bottom. So there is a plenty of storage in it and it's, uh, it's pretty clean. So the hood actually have exhaust outside which is uh, not that often you see for a story apartment. It has a full size stove and a full-size fridge. All right, so sink, uh, sink is pretty deep. Water pressure is nice since it's not an old construction, it's a new construction. And as you all know, the plastic of the new constructions, usually it's pretty, uh, pretty well isolated. So you don't hear your neighbors as much as in the pre-war and the neighbors don't hear you, which is also a great option. Um, and this particular studio is on the first floor, so anyway, if you're gonna run or walk on high hills, nobody gonna hear you anyway. Other features of the apartment has a thermostat, so you control your own heating and uh, it comes together on kind of decent bill. If I could this, oh, <laughs> okay, it actually turns from here, I'm sorry. I was trying to break the, um, <laughs> the heat control. So it comes with the buzzer, even though you actually can probably see from your window who is coming to you without the buzzer, without the video camera, so you kind of don't need it. <laughs> um, it has already space for the air conditioner, so it's not, it doesn't come with the unit, but it's uh, convenient, so you don't actually have to install it in the unit, whether you can just place it in this hole, because this cover comes out and you can place your air conditioner in it. And this one is your heating um, gas panel. So the gas is heat that is provided for the apartment. So let's see how the bathroom look like. I like the way this apartment set up. Closet, bathroom, open space. So the bathroom is actually very convenient. It's kind of hidden on the side. So you don't look into the toilet from your bedroom. It's going to be hidden by the wall. And it's in a pretty good condition. So as I mentioned before, it's not as old. A uh, couple light bulbs are missing, but that's normal. Um, it's pretty clean, opens up, stays closed. A uh, large um, sink, water pressure is good. Uh, and it has an extra storage. It's, uh, it's actually very clean. It looks like it may be brand new. Definitely a lot of storage space in the bathroom. Shower head probably could be changed, but it's easy. You can install anything you want, even the rain forest one. Uh, full size bathtub. But overall, it's uh, pretty good. Um, has a ventilation. Sounds like we're flying somewhere. <laughs> but I guess it works. Okay, we'll end it. 
Uh, but overall for 1575, it's pretty good space in my opinion. Uh, the windows are facing the west, so you do get tons of sunlight in the afternoon. And it's um, also very close to the train station, which would be an NW Broadway. Um, also close to few supermarkets that I know of because I actually happen to live on Broadway and 31st Avenue about six years. So I am pretty familiar with this neighborhood. Also, the building is coming with a uh, laundry, which is right off in the basement. All right, so it's um, you know, not the happiest setup, but it works. This washer and dryer for a small building right in the basement. So let's go and check out this video now and see how come at the same building you have two apartments that is so dramatically in price. One is 1575 and another one is 2800. How come? What could be the differences?